Hello YouTube, this is Rapscallion, and I'm back today pretty quickly after my last video with another redstone component. This is the N item grouper, and this is something that came up uh, as a request by Samus the Sage to group items by uh, stacks of 23. And I, I'm assuming it's for an item sorter or some other system where you need to have a specific number of items be handled at once. Um, so we made a configurable system that'll, that'll help us do that and push items into a water stream. So this system uses the same quad hopper setup that I've used in some of my last videos. And there's not a whole lot going on here otherwise. I haven't seen any other um, configurable item groupers like this before. There's some that handle two at a time, and they're actually bigger than this thing. And there's some others that, that group in larger batches. Um, I guess you'd see these things called item batchers as well too, but I'm gonna call it an item grouper. You'll know that I'm in 1.16 because I've got the target block up here as well too. And I don't like how my screen is lagging a little bit. I think that's from the change on my video settings where I limited my frame rates. So let's put it back to unlimited. There, that actually looks a little bit better. So let's uh, let's see how this thing works. So it's all, again, based on the number of items that you have in these two hoppers. Right now I have it set to 16. I'm gonna do eight just so we can see uh, it work a little bit more quickly. You'll have to feed the items into technically this hopper behind here, but you can't do it by player because we gotta make sure that this comparator triggers. So we're gonna feed it into this hopper and this hopper will feed into that one. All that's happening is that we're going to bud power this dropper. It's gonna shoot the items out at hopper speed. And that's the other important thing to notice here is that this is hopper speed. And it's also going to release the clock for a quick second. So it'll transfer one item for the count. And then every time a count finishes, these two uh, redstone torches are gonna change state. And that's where our observer will pick it up and push it into the water stream with the piston. We do need this slab here, otherwise you could have items that end up falling into the stream before the count. So while I'd like to say that this thing is too wide, it's not really because you do need these items here. Like you need the, you need the glass here or you're gonna shoot items out. You also need to make sure that you have this trap door here on the inside block because it prevents the items from shooting up high enough to not get caught by the piston. So every time we're going to get a consistent grouping and those groupings will enter this hopper all the time, every time consistently. Nothing should end up here as long as I'm using the same item type into the system because it's always going to be this, this hopper will have finished its cooldown and it'll accept the next batch. Um, the only time things would skip over here is if I'm doing more than one item type in the same item count. So if I'm counting for eight and I have four redstone dust and four comparators, then the redstone dust will go here, the comparators will go here because this one will be on cooldown. Um, I also have this set up to handle uneven amounts of items. So if we count seven items, it'll trigger this piston anyway, and it'll still push the seven items in. If it has nine items in, it's gonna do the eight count, push it in, and then it'll do the single count, push it in, and this hopper will still be unlocked. It'll be off cooldown, so it'll be able to pick up the eight plus the one that comes through. If you'd prefer to only take in 23 items and wait and leave the other items here until another amount of items come in, as long as you're pushing items through fast enough, let's clear this up a little bit here. I probably should have turned this weather stuff off. Um, before I started this video. Time, set, day. Let's do all of that together. Perfect. Um, if you're okay with leaving your item entities here until you get a full count, then you actually don't need this comparator, this block, this block, this observer, these repeaters, or this observer. Just leave it the rest of it there, and once it hits the count, it'll push it out. This is only to handle if there's an uneven count, because once this is once this empties, we're gonna get our falling edge um, detector here, which will pump this piston. And it looks like it's on the same, it's just a little bit late. So you'll get a double pulse, but big deal, it doesn't really matter. So let's give this thing a try. Um, we'll do the eight to start. And it's in. 
Okay, so you saw that go. Now I'm going to put the 64 in, and we're going to see every group come in here. So there's 8. It'll jump to 16. Jump to 24. To 32. 40. 48, and so on. So it's always going to get that that group together before it hits that hopper. And you have to make sure that the water is pointing this way because we want the items to group on this side of the block here and then be pushed into the back side of the water block so that it has time to group together. Um, this is probably the most effective way to do it in the shortest amount of space. You only need three blocks worth of water for it to group. You actually don't need this there technically. Right, so that's how it works. I'm going to put nine items in just so we can see how it goes. Pump and pump. And there you saw that it went in those groups. So now if I put eight in because it's already over one count, we'll get that first count of well, seven because we already did a count of one. And then we'll have one extra. So I'm going to put eight in. And we're going to see the seven come in, and then the one, just like that. Anyway, as usual, I'm not going to do a tutorial. I think from every side here, what you can see is enough to be able to build this thing on your own. And uh, hopefully this is a useful component for a lot of people um, that might want to group items together in their water stream before sending things off. It's really helpful for avoiding those hopper cooldowns if you're sending if you're trying to send multiple items down a stream at once and you want to make sure things don't go over your hoppers this is a way to space them out to make sure that your hoppers come off cooldown and get them captured so that's it for today i think uh, data is going to do another video on this system to show some modifications to make sure that this thing works uh, on a carpet mod uh, or a server that's running carpet mod with extreme behaviors on Extreme behaviors will have those items hop around all sorts of different places. I don't think there's actually much of a modification to it, but I'll let data explain and uh, show you what you need to do there. I'll actually just break all this stuff off quickly to show you how it would work without the uh, remainders being pushed in. So let me just make sure I got my items here. I'm going to reset the count. So it should be one in here and we'll put one back okay so let's do this nine so i should get one item that comes that gets left up top there oh gotta make sure i have this let's do that again just to make sure because i didn't have that blocked off and an item got stuck up there we'll reset to eight there And that one item will remain there until you put enough other items in to get to the count. There we go. Anyway, that's the N item grouper. Um, hope everyone enjoys. Thanks again, YouTube, and have a great day.